The plan for today is to first head out into San Ignacio and explore the colourful streets. We'll visit a vibrant market and hopefully get some cheap street food for breakfast. Then we'll catch a local bus to the amazing Shunana Tunic Mayan ruins, which are about half an hour away. They're buried deep in the jungle and unlike a lot of other Mayan sites, you can actually climb them. Today is going to be a good day. If you don't know much about San Ignacio, it's actually the second largest city in Belize, despite how green it is. It is very popular with backpackers who base themselves here to visit the local Mayan ruins, caves and nature. We've seen a street food vendor that does really cheap burritos, so we're going to grab one each for breakfast. 11 o'clock in the morning is not too early for burritos, right? Perfect, thank you. Burritos for you. And what are you having? <laughs> We found the market, and I may have just eaten, but I could still go for some more food. Don't spill it! Ah. <laughs> We're washing down our burrito with some freshly squeezed orange juice. Trying to continue the healthy streak. <laughs> now that we've wandered around San Ignacio for a bit, we're heading to the Shunana Tunic Mayan ruins. We have to get the bus there, but uh, that's not our bus. It's the next one. Thank you. So, in order to get to the site of the ruins, there's just one more mode of transport we need to get. Can you figure out what it is? A ferry. Izzy's also just told me it's a hand crank ferry. And I'll be honest, I don't know what that is either. What's a hand crank ferry? It's where they move across the water by cranking the ferry by hand. <laughs> so you've got to be strong. Hello. Hey Hello. So this is exactly why we travel. Loads of new experiences. So once we got off the ferry it should be about a 15 minute walk to the ruins and the person operating the ferry also told us that we need to be back here at 4 otherwise basically we need to swim back. <laughs> or walk an hour round which I don't fancy doing. No. So if we haven't told you already, the name of these Mayan ruins is Shu Nana Tunic. That basically translates to Stone Woman or the Lady of the Rock, which is a much more poetic version. The whole site is around three square miles, but they've actually only excavated a small bit of it. In fact, we can see what looks like some excavation work going on at the moment. So as we mentioned earlier, one of the great things about this site is that unlike places like Chichen Itza, you're still allowed to climb up the ruins here, which makes the whole experience very immersive. You're allowed to climb them, but they are very steep. Uh, ah! I just found out that Shu Nana Tunic is built on a high ridge overlooking the Mopan River. That's the river we crossed on the ferry. But they didn't just build it up here for the views, it's actually a very important location. You see, being here was a strategic choice because it means that they could control the trade that flowed up and down the river and it made them very wealthy. 
Right in the central plaza is structure A6 El Castillo, or in English the Pyramid, just like the El Castillo that we visited at Chichen Itza. But unlike the El Castillo we visited, this one you can still climb up. One thing that has made today a little bit more difficult to film is this little guy. Ever since we arrived, he has followed us round, gotten all of our shots, haven't you? You just want a bit of love and attention. Oh God, your breath stinks. <laughs> the view here is incredible. It's not just jungle, but it's also the ruins and the rolling hills in the distance. Yeah, it's pretty peaceful up here. But we do have about half an hour to get all the way back down to the ferry, so we got to go. It's also actually pretty good timing that we need to leave because it's just started raining quite heavily. <laughs> we made it on time. We made it. <laughs> what we need to do now is jump back on a bus to San Ignacio from where we got dropped off earlier. Thankfully the buses here run pretty regularly so one should be along in a minute. Thank you. No problem. You're going to sending that, sir, right? Yeah, we are. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Well, we managed to hitch a ride, which should be cheaper than the bus. Bye. We've seen a lot of Mayan ruins recently, but they're not getting old. I had a great time. It really was a lot of fun today, especially because we got to clamber all over the ruins. Tomorrow we need to get up pretty early because we're getting a bus to the nation's capital of Balmapan. So we'll see you guys soon. What did she just ask? If we want it spicy. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> It is only supposed to. It is only supposed to be a bit. It is only supposed to be a 15-minute walk to get to the ruins, but it's all uphill. I don't suppose there's somebody with a crank that will wheel me up this hill, will they? Ah, God. I wonder if I look as cute doing that. Did I do that as well as you did? What do you think guys? Who's cuter? Me or Dale? <laughs>